Hey guys, I am Elizabeth with Parsons Family Pantry and I wanted to show you today what I have going on out in the garden. I figured if I am having some struggles, probably you guys are having something similar going on, so why not share what I've learned? Hopefully it'll help you as you're um, trying to grow some beautiful vegetables for your family. Right now I am looking at a big beautiful zucchini plant. And I'm new to gardening, so pardon me if you guys know a lot more than I do. Feel free to comment in the section below if you have information to share. Um, but this is one of the things that has been plaguing me this summer. It's these little caterpillars. I'm gonna see if I can find one for you. And I'll show you as well how I even discovered that they were out here. One second. Where'd you go? I just saw you. Well, one of the things that you can look for to find them are holes in your leaves. And I'll show you here what I mean. You can see right in here, they've been munching very happily on my zucchini leaves, which I don't want because obviously these leaves have to do some hard work to be able to grow my plant big and strong and produce some beautiful zucchini for my family. Um, you can see some other ones down there. There's a few here that they've taken a few bites out of as well. And there was, it's this little green caterpillar. These moths find the scent of your squash plants in particular. Um, squash, yellow, zucchini, also um, cucumber tends to be susceptible to the same thing. And pumpkin, they love pumpkin, but they pick up on the scent of these plants and the moth, there it is, will lay these little eggs and then out pops these little green worms. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let's see if I can focus. Can you see that? He's right there. He will eat away all of your leaves pretty quickly. I actually lost several corn plants to these little guys um, about a month ago. I only had three corn plants, they ate them all within 24 hours. Um, so this little guy, I'm just going to show you what I actually do to control them. Tweezers. Simple and easy. It's one of my little best friends out here in the garden. But all I'm going to do is just pluck that little guy right off. And there he is. And squish him. I'm sorry. Um, there we go. And you really, when you start to see these holes appear, really, really check very thoroughly. Um, they, they like to hide in the new leaves, the itty bitty ones down here, for example. And they're super difficult to discern um, that from the fresh leaves. So really make sure that you're using your keen eyesight, and I just found another one. <laughs> Make sure you're using your keen eyesight when you're looking for these little guys. If you see the signs on your leaves, they're probably there, and you definitely don't want to leave them. Whoop. He fell down. Okay, I'll get him later. Anyway, so you want to make sure that you take them all off. What I've found um, to be a really huge benefit to actually keeping these little guys away that I'm still working on in my garden is to use uh, an organic method of deterring pests and you can see over here I have a beautiful raised bed and we have lovingly started planting basil plants in here there's a beautiful lemon basil behind that I have just a traditional sweet basil he's growing up very nicely back there there's another basil here that's just going gangbusters we've had a lot of rain lately and it's just loving it um, but what I found is that all of my plants that are close to these basil plants, so I have another squash plant here, I'm not having that caterpillar problem in these plants. So it's definitely worth the time and effort and the money to, to grow some basil plants. Now, if you have some trouble growing them from seed, I initially did, so I bought a few plants. And what I learned to do was propagate them. And all that propagating is, is you're just taking a little trimming from your plant and you're putting it in a bit of water, the little stem that you cut, and um, 
it's gonna grow roots over a couple of days to a week. And once it has a fair number of roots, then you can actually put it in some soil in a pot. Make sure that you protect that plant. You don't wanna put it out in direct sunlight because the sunlight will probably kind of make it look a little wilty and it's not gonna survive. So be really, be really sweet to those little basil uh, plants that you've propagated. But that's really what I'm doing right now is I am trying to, I have a few sprigs inside and propagating and I'll show you those in another video. And once those grow some pretty decent roots, they are gonna go over here in my little pumpkin patch. I have a, two pumpkins in here. Um, they're, it's a small variety. It's the sweet uh, little baby pumpkins. I forget the name at the moment, please pardon me for that. Oh, sugar pie pumpkin. That's what it's called, sugar pie pumpkin. And then I also have a yellow squash plant going on back here and I'm gonna try to train him up a bit so that it's not completely overtaking this fairly decent sized raised bed. Um, and hopefully these pumpkins will have some room to grow. And I'm not really looking for a huge crop of those, by the way, just a few beautiful pumpkins for my children for the fall to be able to play with. Now this is the cucumber plant and I'm going to show you, this is the plant that I've had the most trouble with with those little worms or caterpillars and it makes sense to me because it's the furthest plant I have in my garden from those basil plants. Um, so the biggest things that are going to benefit you in the garden to try to deter those pests, those plants are basil, onion and marigold and I do have some marigold in here but it's not flowering yet so the, the scent isn't there to really help me out. And all you're looking for those three plants to do is mask the scent. They're, they have such a beautiful, strong scent. Thankfully, pests don't like it, and it, it really kind of confuses them. So the moth that's looking for a place to lay its little eggs doesn't realize what you have growing in your garden, and it'll just kind of skip past it and find somewhere else to lay its little eggs. So. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Um, if it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to be kept up to date on any future videos that we do. There definitely will be some more videos coming from the garden as well as my kitchen. My first love is definitely cooking. Um, we try to cook as healthy as possible, um, but the, the food needs to taste good too, right? So you'll, you'll see some things coming from my kitchen that taste great, that are great for your body, and you'll feel good about eating them. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.